India assaults your senses. It challenges them head on. You can't duck. You can't go and hide from India. It's out there and it's right in your face. How you react tells you a lot about yourself. If you get past that, you learn a lot about the rest of humanity. And you're a better person for it. What distinguishes India from almost every other country is the deep spirituality of all her people. Whether they worship Christ or Krishna, Buddha or Brahma, almost everyone believes. The woman who puts the dot in a dot com at work may later put the dot on her forehead and go to the river to pray. India is modern and ancient all at once. She balances tradition with flexibility. She's always adjusting, always spontaneous, and yet deeply resigned to fate. India puts her tiny boat into the raging stream and says her prayers. In these rivers, every army absorbed, every religion embraced, every disease conquered, every death vanquished. With every answer comes a new mystery. No film can capture it. No book can describe it. Words and pictures are not enough. You must come here and experience it for yourself. In this stream called India is every truth and its opposite every race and its enemy, every state of mind and every other, everything sacred and everything profane, all united by a single idea called India. And that idea is completely up to you.